So a quick update and a story. So I apologize for the lack of content or posts or videos for a while. I had to take a bit of time off for family reasons, personal reasons. Um, I will be easing back into it over the next couple of weeks. Uh, I have some topics that I want to cover. I have some videos uh, in mind. I also have a bunch of videos that ha I had been working on before taking the break that hopefully I can finish and put up soon. But for this one, a quick update and a story. Uh, I also want to say thank you to everybody that has continued to send messages, to send uh, emails. The list of topics and questions continues to grow, so I'm very thankful for that. I got a note from Everything Baking and More where they said, my kayak flipped once and now I can't go on small watercrafts without having a panic attack. And that was a comment on a video that I made a while ago on overcoming fear and things that might scare us when sea kayaking because if you ever go into places or if you are in situations where either the weather takes a bad turn or you go out to places that you are not expecting conditions to be as big as they present themselves eventually especially when from far away you think it's not that bad but once you're actually in the sea and next to one of those waves they look so much bigger than from far away so that was a video put together on tips that helped me whenever going to places where conditions were bigger than what i was used to or uh, I was taking a class with uh, a group that were much more experienced than I was. But that comment made me think of a story, something that happened to my wife and I uh, in the beginning when we were just getting into kayaking. I don't know if I've shared it on this channel or not, but whenever we went on vacation, we realized we always liked being on the water, be it in rented kayaks or in boats or whatever. And with a group of friends, we went whitewater rafting. This was the first time we had ever done it. It was going to be in a very safe place. Rapids were going to be really easy, not a big deal. It was just going to be a fun day on the water. So the rafts were small. It was only four people per raft. And as we're going, we got to one place where the water started moving and there was a bend and a big rock. And as we're making the bend, we're trying to avoid that big rock. And we weren't fast enough. We ended up hitting the rock and going up on the rock a bit. And so we were doing what we were told we had to try to even out the raft and try to make it so that it didn't fill up with water. And we're trying to get off the rock as the water's going. So the raft right behind us, also with newbies, were also having trouble controlling it. So not only did they end up hitting us, but their raft went on top of ours and we fell out. I ended up being under both rafts, stuck under in front of that rock and I felt like I couldn't move and, you know, growing up uh, as a kid, we always swam and we used to challenge each other to how long you could hold your breath underwater and how many times can you swim across a pool or whatever. But when you're in a situation like that, that kind of goes out the window and you start freaking out. So I felt trapped under both of these rafts. I didn't know where my wife was. Um, and then, but then I really thought, no, you, you've got this, you have time. So I just waited a little bit until I felt like I could move from under the rafts, made my way to the side. And once I popped up, I saw my wife was just floating down the river. She was fine. Everybody on the, on the rafts were fine. But for those few moments when I felt like I was just stuck under the rafts, it really freaked me out. So after that experience, I wondered if I'd feel okay going kayaking or just being on the water or... And so what we did is we set up lessons as we got into kayaking and then working with instructors and understanding how to handle not only the kayak, but myself, my breathing, learning to roll. These were all things, there were tools that I used to counteract what I felt that one time. And then as I did that and I felt more confident, all of that diminished. Don't get me wrong, that's part of also why I went towards, you know, recreational kayaking and sea kayaking versus um, whitewater kayaking. Um, I feel now a lot more confident that if I were to try whitewater kayaking with friends or with instructors, I would feel more comfortable just because I feel comfortable in a kayak. But without all of that, I, would, I think I would be very hesitant to just jump into white water just like that. But, but to Baking and Moore's point, I was having similar feelings when it came to water sports in general. And 
What worked for me was finding ways to go around it and then eventually push my skills with people that I felt put me in safe uh, scenarios so that I could overcome those feelings. For example, whenever I took classes with uh, rock gardening, I was always very hesitant to get near rocks because of this experience. And there were situations where I explained all those things to an instructor privately. They were able to put together exercises that would allow me to inch my way in and feel safe as I was learning. And as I did that, I felt then more confident to uh, try things out. For example, I went rock gardening in Rhode Island with a fantastic group of paddlers and instructors and John saw one of the spots that he said would have been would be perfect for me to not only feel what it was like to be next to the rocks but actually jump out of my boat and be in the water next to the rocks and as the group moved on to do something else or explore another area john stayed back with me next to me and i was able to jump in get a feel for how the water was moving me around these rocks and that was a huge opening into what then allowed me to continue growing those skills and reduce anxiety around rocks. So I hope that wasn't too long of a story, but I just wanted to say thank you for the comments and questions and things that keep coming in because I hadn't thought about that story in a while, but everything's everything baking and more is comment sparked it. And I thought, you know what? This story might help someone that maybe has gone through a similar thing and is trying to find ways to overcome that. So for you, if you flipped over and you're having a tough time getting back in a kayak, Maybe the way to do it is gather friends, gather instructors, try to sign up with a club, find people that will help you get more at ease in scenarios like that. So you can go out first when it's super calm. You can try different kinds of kayaks that maybe one will make you feel more comfortable versus another. And then slowly you can build your way back up so that you can build that confidence. And a lot of times confidence and skills can both go up and down together so that you can get to wherever you're going next. So keep your eye out. More videos coming soon, as well as getting to test out this beauty. If you haven't checked it out yet, before the break, the last podcast we did was Ben is now going full-time carving green paddles. And look at this beauty. So you can check out his channel over here and I'll put a link to the podcast in the description below. So I hope that was helpful. Subscribe if you'd like. I'm always trying to put these videos out. And as always, look like a hipster. Nice to see you all again. Have a good one and see you next time.